Hi and welcome to this duct tape enhanced review of Skyscraper. Because when you have duct tape, you can do anything. Oh. Skyscraper is directed by Rawson Marshall Tuber and stars Dwayne Johnson who plays Will Sawyer, a former FBI hostage rescue team leader and US war veteran. Will has been given the task to assess the world's tallest building, which is in Hong Kong. The building catches fire, Will is framed for it, his family is trapped in the building, and he is on the run. So he has to save his family, uh, he has to save his family from the giant monster skyscraper, clear his name, and then get home in time to wrestle a Godzilla. The last few times that I saw Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, he's been moving missiles with his bare hands, fighting giant uh, monsters, uh, fighting a board game, ah! fighting Jason Statham, Such a cliche. fighting volcanoes. You're welcome. Uh, it does seem like there's nothing that Dwayne Johnson can't do. What is that? which was my worry when going in to watch Skyscraper. I didn't know how I was going to be invested in this film when it seemed like The Rock can smell what the bad guys slash monsters are cooking all the time. If you smell <laughs> I don't know if you've seen uh, this, the trailer for Skyscraper, but as usual, some key points uh, from the main arc are given away. And I guess this is the way things are now. However, that being said, uh, when you see Will Sawyer, you get to see that he has a titanium leg, which makes his life quite difficult. And I have to say, this was a mechanic that I think really worked uh, for me. It helped to bring down the godlike status of the rock to an almost mortal level. Ah, uh, my day just got a whole hell of a lot better. Don't get me wrong, when you watch this film, you should definitely suspend your thinking, your brain thinking for quite a bit. It's a, it's a true blockbuster action movie that kind of throws back to the old 90s action movies. A lot of people have been saying, they've been talking about Die Hard and um, yeah, I guess it is like that. But it's so much more than Die Hard. It's Die Hard, Towering Inferno, Mission Impossible, all with the rock rolled into one. Where's Ethan? I think where the film works well is its ludicrousness adventure storyline. It doesn't pretend to be anything it's not. When I was watching the film, even though I knew that The Rock's the lead and he probably wouldn't die, probably, the height of the tension the film manages to create is something that I wasn't fully uh, prepared for. I'm not afraid of heights, but you know that feeling when you get, that you get in the pit of your stomach when you're standing on the edge of something and you lean over and you get that that feeling that uh, gives you the willies. Um, I got that a few times, uh, which I was surprised for. I think the film looks really great. The rest of the cast, like Neve Campbell, who plays the wife to Will uh, Sawyer, I thought she was good. The kids weren't annoying and the fight scenes were fun. There was one particular fight scene that I, I was gritting my teeth and held my breath for, which I thought was very well put together. So if you can manage to tell your brain to stop its logical questions like how the hell did he climb up that crane in less than two minutes, for example, then you're probably really going to enjoy this film. It's a pure adrenaline escape film that's worth it for, I guess, just for the rush and the ride alone. But I am biased because I do love the peck puck of love. The peck puck of love. That is the peck pop of love. But we do need to talk about the true hero of the film, and that is duct tape. I didn't actually have duct tape, I've got uh, masking tape, so it doesn't quite give the same effect. But they've definitely taken bits from other films like Die Hard and Towering Inferno and one particular scene that I think has kind of almost ripped off from Mission Impossible. Uh, you know that bit where uh, Tom is on the glass and he's using these special gloves and there's a similar scene which has already been spoiled in the trailer so I'm not giving anything away. but. It does seem like the hero of this movie, other than The Rock, is duct tape because it seems like there's nothing that duct tape can't do. And even in Die Hard, and I'm not going to give a spoiler, just in case you still haven't seen Die Hard, in which case, what are you doing? Go watch that film. Um, but there's even a bit in that film where they use duct tape. And in this, it, it seems like a gag, but also a real element to the, to the nature of duct tape that's indestructible, which I thought was really funny. So, this is the duct tape edition review. You're welcome. Thanks for watching this review. Uh, let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments below. And for more great content 
like this um, about games and TV and movies all reviewed, then subscribe and why not hit that bell so you don't miss anything. And remember, live long and Tuesday.